of Robin play, and he's the master. Yeah. I will he's say the that grandmaster. He, you're right. And these last there few months, the, the Robin meta has definitely exploded. I mean, we have Scorpio and Nexus. Um, and then, of course, like you said, this gentleman here at, I uh, believe you said Shine? Was yeah, what it was. Shine. So, I mean, the, the Robin gameplay is ever expanding. Of course, Nairo as well. Back in the day, like, he, he he pulled it out of last big house, yeah. that Robin. But uh, I think he, he's, he left it behind for, for John Lucina. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Done with you. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's going to be a long weekend. All right, get into yeah, game it one. It's going to be Smashville here, Mega Man yeah, versus and, Robin. And the newly minted DNG. Okay. Yes, DNG Kameme versus EBP Dath. And, uh, lots, like, lots of letters. <laughs> looks like Dath is going to – he's the one who's going to be kind of favoring the Smashville platform, it looks like, at the start. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like this is going to be either an incredibly explosive game because they're going to ignore the zoning that they get and just go in, yeah. or this is going to be like um, like playing chess, yeah, like legitimately. It'll be a very projectile-based game, something more like a, from a first-person shooter, if you will. I think but it'll be very deliberately paced here. I yeah. predict. Yeah, th that's kind of what I was like. Very deliberate pace. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Gosh. Oh, oh my god! Oh, the, the Smashville platform, the savior. Oh wow! The hero. That could have been so much damage tacked on. Oh, and he's gonna, gonna get another one. I don't think he needs it. Oh my god! There's oh, the Shoryu. No. That was so dirty. He he was going for that second uh, that second footstool Z drop combo to make sure he had enough damage for the Shoryu to kill. Because as it was, it wasn't gonna kill. Capcom, get your characters, alright? Because they're just <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're doing some things. <laughs> that was dope. <laughs> that it was, but again, like we mentioned before, now Daft finds himself in the passenger seat, no longer in the driver's seat. He finds himself trailing, if you will. And unfortunately, Robin's slow run speed there. He could have possibly had maybe a jab reset of his own, but he's just the slowest footed character, I swear. Yeah. I mean, slow, slower than your Ganondorf? But I know Ganondorf is pretty, pretty, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure Robin has the slowest run speed. Uh oh. Kamehameha is pressuring so well on the ledge right now. Is it, is it Kamehameha now? Not Kamehameha. It's Kamehameha now. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Kame me. It's all right. I mean, people can just change their tags whenever they want. That's true. There's no, there's no like governing body that, no, that there is. stops that. So I, I really love. Shout League out to Static Blade. Manny for right. being the master changing his tags. Yeah, definitely <laughs> shout out to Tony Hero. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to touch on. Oh, he's got the grab here. I wanted to touch but on something I seen there a second ago, man. Kame, Kame me, excuse me. Using that Leaf Blade to try to get in it and get some grabs, possibly down throw forwarder, down throw back air, something. He's Tom Hawking super well on this Smashville platform. That he is. Wow, keeping him up there on that top platform, applying so much pressure, physically applying pressure, and from the other side of the room as well. Back throw coming it just out. Really, like, like this is one of the few times where, like, I mean, even like against Salem, against, um, against uh, JJ, like, Daft. Oh, wow. Daft at this point in the tournament, since we've seen, has always seemed to at least have answers. Mm -hmm. Kameme was just all over him on yeah, that second just, side. just like a spider monkey. <laughs> He was reading those jump get-ups. He was just all over that. He was able to find all those back airs. So much pressure just put on him just by Z-dropping that uh, mm -hmm. that metal blade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, just already exploiting his already exploitable recovery. Mm -hmm. Most unfortunately. He's exploiting that recovery the best out of anyone we've seen, including Salem. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, he's... Like... I don't know what Daft can do. I don't have an answer. No. I hope he does, but I don't. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Talent City's going to be a pick. He's actually... Moving away from that battlefield that has been his counter pick throughout most of this tournament. So we're going to see if this is the answer. It gives him a little bit more room to work with, a little bit more room to kind of play keep away. Yeah. But then if with that being said, too, I mean, the, the platforms also disappear after a certain uh, period of time. And now we could possibly see those wonderful footstool combos come to light. I know we couldn't see it on Smash because of the top platform, but now we could possibly see it here on Town and City with a lower ceiling. I mean, I thought I, thought I saw plenty of footstool combos. Yo, <laughs> we can see even more here is, yeah. what, is what I'm saying. Yeah, you're saying, like, once the platforms go away, it turns into FD, and then Robin's got to play a super defensive game. Yeah, Robin's got to run away while that meta blade's in hand. Yeah. You don't want to get into a shootout versus Mega Man. I'm sorry, Robin. Oh, the book. Caused, uh, caused the Mega Man move to stop and was able to get that grab. Really clever play. The Metal Blade was kind of like the focus of the item play in game one, but don't forget, Dath has some serious item play too. Absolutely. He's got those books he can throw, he's got this Levin Sword that pops up, and that's a very potent, those are potent projectiles. And, and that, I mean, I, we can't even forget the spells themselves. Yeah. Mm. Well, that Levin Sword, speaking of the item, is just gonna fall away kind of uselessly there. And right now, actually, these lemons are kind of stuffing some of these. Uh, Elf Thunders. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, they, they seem to clank with everything, and that's not good because uh, Mega Man has an unlimited supply of lemons. 
not a good spot for Daft to be in. Very reminiscent of what we've seen in game one where he found himself on that right, or excuse me, not right, left side of the stage. And just had a horrible time oh, recovering. The, 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 just, just the pressure. Yeah. The pressure is insane. It's, it's like watching the Hydraulic Press channel. <laughs> <laughs> it is just, just endless and, and irredeemable. That, that throw the Metal Blade forward to Rar Bear is one of the smoothest kill confirms. Mm -hmm. It just looks so slick. I love watching it. Okay, very, very nice there. Using the arc fire to try to keep uh, Kameme off the right side of the stage there. Possibly, like we've seen before, maybe sneak in a forward there. Mm -hmm. Maybe put the ball back in his court. I'd like to see him try to get Kameme off stage and possibly apply some nice pressure out there. Mega Man is a fat character. Okay, but that check is going to be DI'd out of. I think a lot of people forget that, man. He's a super fighting robot. He's not a light guy. He's pretty heavy. No, he's the blue bomber, man. He, he's, he's got some weight to him. Yeah. Pure metal chassis. Gets the grab off of that metal blade there. And again, he's just put on so much work. Oh. This is so bad. Oh! That was swag, dude. Listen, oh I don't even know goodness. if I want to do it. Do I got to put the sign up? Do I? It's... it's 